What's going on, guys? New braided, well, steel braided fuel hose pipes. It's going to be a quick video. They came in from S line. They're going to go on like that, and I'm not going to get any leaking. These pipes are old. They're 20 years old, and they need to be replaced. So it's going to be a quick video. Just see what they look like. Also got a coolant return pipe as well which is just like this but I'm going to fit that when I do the full system and then I'm going to take the car out for a test drive after we've done the tandem pump as well see how it works put down these rags cost we're probably going to get some diesel spill all we're going to need is a set of pliers and a screwdriver. Like I said, a really simple job. I've had these this side off before, so it's not that bad. But I know, like on the other side, it's probably going to be a pain to get off, so I'm probably just going to cut them off. Those clips because they're pretty good actually. In case I find when I'm doing the back lines and the other fuel pipes, that one, one of the clips is gone. And I can use the middle of the fuel pipe as well. Be careful, this one is plastic. It never is, especially on an older car. I'm going to show you why. I'm trying not to use Jubilee clips. <laughs> look at the indentation on that. And look at all the cracking in the hose. So they were desperate to be replaced anyway before they did spring leak. So now we've got them off. Install the new ones. So these are special Jubilee clips and like normal ones. They, um, they tighten all the way around rather than have that one pinch point. And they should last for uh, the rest of the life of this car for sure. So I realised that 
taking the taking off that clip that holds them both together. It's actually way easier than trying to get them off both of them. This one's shorter than the other. these strip these off together do this plastic one first so you don't snap it and you can twist it these kind of you gotta like wiggle them around to get them on such a tight fit obviously they'll get better with their age that one's quite strong so but there we go they're all on now Never ever say that it should be an easy job before you do it because it never is. I'm going to put these clips on that keeps them together. tandem pump and from the fuel hose. So what I'm going to do is just turn the key a few times. out of here, check to see whether there's any diesel leads. He's out with a hooker. No need to have any diesel from anywhere. Doesn't look like it. Oh, leaking down there. Can't see anything. Left the feet start. Start up. So we're gonna go for a little test drive. So we'll put her back in the way in the garage for the next drop. Yeah. No wind out, I 
as you can see the car is absolutely jammed full of stuff ain't got much room in the garage so it's got to live in the car and she sounds all right but i want to know whether the tandem pump has sorted out the acceleration issue that i've got Everything's mashing around. <laughs> she, it might well have fixed it, boys and girls. We might well have found the issue. And then from early. It certainly still feels better. It certainly does feel better. Who knows? Turbo should kick in. It's got me thinking it's the VMT. I think it's the VMT, the, the turbo thing I've got. But I'm happy that the tandem pump now it shouldn't leak oil. I'm gonna have another one last little check when I'm done. Make sure I'm not leaking any diesel. And that's another job down. Now uh, what I'm doing next, maybe the I think the gearbox oil could do with a good change. I'm going to be buying a single mass clutch soon. I need to get that clutch ready for uh, when we upgrade to 240 because it's dual mass. It's not going to handle it. So we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> 